Yeah, Animal Control named that husky Justice, and they say that chain was embedded in his neck for more than two weeks. Now there's a reward for information leading to justice. <laughs> Happy playing and eating by hand. His inability to move very well and the chain. A 180 from the sick Siberian Husky found in the area of Platts Mill Road on Saturday the 13th. Happy today. We've been working with him. We hand feed him. Naugatuck police see a handful of animal abuse cases a year. The dog animal control officer Steve Rupkis named Justice now the first case requiring immediate surgery to remove nearly five ounces of a 28-inch chain embedded in the dog's neck. The chain was obviously attached for a significant period of time for it to be, have skin growing over it. So, but that is under investigation. If you've been inside a courthouse lately, you may have seen these purple t shirts. The group Desmond's Army, representing animals who can't speak for themselves in court cases across Connecticut, also putting up $1,500 for a reward leading to justice for justice. Animal cruelty is statistically linked to domestic violence, social violence, um, and it is a gateway and red flag crime. Specialists at Central Valley Animal Hospital believe the chain was embedded in Justice's neck for longer than three weeks. I consider this to be extremely egregious because of the amount of time it takes for the skin to grow over a chain. And Justice is still recovering and not yet available for adoption. Live in Naugatuck, I'm Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.